So today we are going to compare ClickUp and Trello because I've done quite a few videos about them both and a lot of people have been asking me what is the difference which one should I choose? So I'm just gonna break it all down today and you'll be able to make your decision after watching this video. So let's just get right into it. Now, first of all, I wanna talk about the views that they have. So Trello is known for having the board view as the main view or the Kanban or Kanban. I never know how to pronounce that right, honestly. However, it also has the calendar, timeline, table, dashboard, and map view. However, those views are for paid members only. So if you want to use it for free, you can only get the board view. And in ClickUp, the free views are list, calendar, board, Gantt, mind map, and a few extra ones. However, with the free membership, you get a few extra views, which for example are workload and timeline. But most likely you won't need them if you're a beginner or you don't have a team. The timeline view is for unlimited members. However, the workload view is for the business plan. Now, we're gonna talk about the features. So the main system for Trello is to have the board view that has content rich cards everywhere. If you want more features, you get these things called power ups. Also, when it comes to customization with Trello, you can change the background, which is very fun. Now compared to ClickUp, it does lack quite a lot of features. So it can be a pro or a con because some people just don't need all of those features. So it really depends on you. Some people prefer simplicity while others prefer all these specific things. It also unfortunately lacks rich text and commands. However, from my experience, you can get rich text with a Google Chrome extension, but the thing is that if you use the app, then they won't appear. And when I used Trello a lot, I did take advantage of a lot of Google Chrome extensions. I actually have a video on that and I will link it up here if you'd like to learn more ways on how to customize your Trello. Now, let's move on to ClickUp's features. Oh boy, there's a lot. Because ClickUp aims to basically replace them all. So they are this project management tool that just has basically everything and they keep adding more things. Which for people like me who are very picky with their task and project management systems and being able to customize it to such an extent is very important. For others, it'll get way, way too overwhelming. So the main system of ClickUp is hierarchies, which takes some time getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's a great system. They take pride in the amount of features they have. They do let you turn features off though. So if you are a beginner with ClickUp, I definitely recommend literally turning off basically everything only the very, very basics, because it'll just be way too cluttery for you and way too overwhelming. So just start simple with it, turn everything off and get used to it first. And then you can slowly turn them on again because it's customizable like that. However, people do say that even if you turn off pretty much all of the features, it can still be quite overwhelming for them. And I have to agree, I felt the same when I started with ClickUp, so... But yeah, it really depends on you. If you're not picky, just go with Trello, because it's way easier. So in general, Trello is very easy to understand. Quickly, you can quickly set it up, no problem at all. When it comes to ClickUp, there's a lot of features, so great for some, overwhelming for others. Trello for absolute beginners who want to quickly set things up and, and ClickUp is a better tool for you to manage your work online, especially if you have a lot of it and you're a bit more choosy on what you want your system to look like. Now, if you're planning to use Trello for not only your personal life and your personal to-dos, but also your business, then eventually you're, it'll be time for you to move on because eventually as you scale up and the workload becomes more insane and you end up, you know, getting team members and 
like there's just so many projects and everything has a dependency you'll eventually have to move on to another app that can actually handle that amount of work however if you're a simple person you're not planning to see you don't see a future of you having a huge amount of work to that point or you're just using it for your personal to-dos then you can use Trello however if you do start becoming picky about what features you want like I said before eventually you want to move on and with ClickUp if you can handle the learning curve, it's great. For small teams also, and for people who are just using them by themselves. Because even if you have a big workload, organizing and searching for tasks is really easy, and there's so many systems that you can set up. I also do love this tool as a personal digital planning system, because with my experience of setting up and trying out different planning systems, I'm very particular about what I want my task management system to have and ClickUp seems to have pretty much all of it. And I do have a playlist about planning on ClickUp if you'd like to learn more about this tool. All right, so let's talk about plans. Trello free version is quite restricted compared to other project management software. And when it comes to ClickUp, I think they're quite generous with their free plan, but with the workload that I have, for example, and I do like the extra features, I have a paid plan and there's multiple pay paid plans so but the most likely the ones you guys will need would be either the limited and the business plan and you do get quite a lot but it really depends on what you need and I do have a long detailed list about what you get. I do recommend checking out their pricing plan in full comparison but if you're not really sure on what you like and what you prefer then the free plan is completely fine. With time, you'll just realize what things you actually want and what things you don't need. Now, both have mobile apps and I've tried them both. So in my opinion, the Trello mobile app is quite stiff when I used to use the Chrome extensions to really customize it. Obviously, those customizations would not appear on the app, which was really unfortunate, but oh well. With the ClickUp app, it used to be pretty bad and pretty glitchy, but I think in my opinion, they have improved it quite a lot. My experience with it has been quite smooth. It's better, it has lots of options, and I use it to, for example, add quick notes or check what my agenda is for today. When it comes to both of these apps, you cannot access them online. Now, when it comes to Chrome extensions, Trello, to my knowledge, does not have an official Chrome extension. However, there are many, many different Chrome extensions that are connected to Trello. Like I said before, the customization Chrome extensions, there's also Chrome extensions for the power-ups that you get in Trello. Like for example, Planaway has a Chrome extension for Trello. I actually have a video about using Planaway calendar in Trello as well, if you'd like to check this video out. So yes, there's a lot of different Chrome extensions when it comes to Trello. They're just not officially by Trello. So yeah, lots and lots, so yeah, lots and lots of options. However, if you use a lot of these extensions, it does pile up on your toolbar, so it can get quite crowded sometimes. Now, when it comes to ClickUp's Chrome extension, it's been very versatile and it's been a great experience for me. You can quickly add tasks, access a notepad for quick notes, go through your emails if you connect your email service with ClickUp. You can take screenshots, track time, access bookmarks, and more. So, in summary, ClickUp aims to be the tool that replaces them all. It has a lot of features, has a bit of a learning curve, and they operate on a four-level hierarchy. And Trello is known for being the most popular, simple project management tool that enables you to organize projects and anything related to them into boards. If you want to create an account for whichever tool you choose, I have linked them both down below 
So, or you can even check them both out and see how you like them. Also, if you'd like to know how to accomplish your goals with clear direction and beat overwhelm, I have a five-step guide on that. It's linked down below and it'll give you more guidance on, on how to set goals, as well as a few mistakes that you should avoid when planning. That's all from me today. I hope this helped you with your decision. Let me know in the comments which one you decide to choose. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. I hope you have a wonderful and a productive day and week, and I will see you next time. Ciao!